Hello, good morning, future millionaire. Look good at morning. us here. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Good morning. In the lighthouse. Yes, in the lighthouse. Okay, the reason we saw the lighthouse because the place we stayed overnight is called the Lighthouse Hotel and it's um, in Bundaberg. And there's a lot of amazing stuff has happened in the mm. last few hours. Mm. We just woke up, we had an extended sleep. I had an extended dream session. And this is the first time actually somebody witnessing me after dream session talking about my dreams. Mm. And I hope it didn't shock you. It didn't shock me. Um, like I've done a lot of work with lucid dreams, you know, yeah, in my yeah. time and trying to understand like what the dream world is and yeah. what it can connect us with. It's, it's amazing and fascinating. If anybody has not looked into understanding what the dream world is, yes. they really should because it's actually a connection to the universe, we may say, through our subconscious mind through the universe. And what I saw Gabriel do this morning was amazing, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe you can describe it. Instead, I say something about myself, you say what you observe. Well, what I did, did I do? Well, I just well, I just observed the things you were saying, and I understood it was not coming from yourself. It was almost coming from a different source of information, mm -hmm. and was it was very very powerful and profound. And you know, I saw I saw you throughout the night. You woke up a few times, mm -hmm. um, but I understand what a lucid dreaming state, and you were definitely in, a, in an altered state of mind. I yeah. would say, in an altered state of consciousness receiving this this very special information and um, yeah a lot of things you were talking about I just believe like it's some information it comes from a different source we can all connect to by the way yeah <laughs> we can all right absolutely yeah. absolutely and Brendan here yeah, he is very sensitive towards those uh, information himself this is the reason yesterday we even talked in the car about he has this premonition that in the next six months the market is going to go crazy yeah I, I, I believe yeah, he so. Said, he asked me uh, the question. I, I, I literally just quote him. He says, yeah. "What if I just uh, go all in for the next six months and then cash out after that?" Mm. And I was, I didn't give him this idea. It was yeah. not my idea. I yes. didn't ask you to do that. Yeah. He said he gave me this idea, and I was wondering if that's true or not true. So what I did yesterday, typically, was mm. one of the topics that went through the dream, is I asked the universe what is what is going to happen in the next six months regarding that particular situation. Mm. And I already told you in the morning, so mm. I'm just telling again mm. the same thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. It was. It was was a premonition or sort of a feeling I've been having for a long time because I've been involved in crypto for a few years now maybe yeah. four four years since my first investment yeah and I just feel this time is something has been telling me uh, in my heart that that yeah. um, this is gonna go in a in a way that we not haven't seen in a long time yes uh, we have maybe seen through market cycles but this one of the cycle that's happening now that it's gonna be a big increase in a lot of the cryptocurrencies we sort of already happened over yeah. last night right there's a big I don't know. Piece. I haven't checked the price yet. <laughs> well, I you, checked you, it. You did. I haven't. I checked it. <laughs> so I don't know what the price. It was a, like a decent percent increase. A lot, of, yeah. a lot of coins last night. Yeah. You know, it's but the Bitcoin cash we see went up to um, back up to six fifty. I think again. Yeah. Last night. Okay, that's cool. Sounds you know? good. But uh, Brandon, maybe you can confirm one thing because you mm. spend now basically twenty four hours with me. Yes. Uninterrupted. Yes. There's no one else between us. Absolutely. Uh, can I ask you two things? Yes. Because I want you to confirm to the audience. First yes. of all, do I check prices at all? <laughs> never, never. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. When I tell people yeah. I don't check prices, I yes. mean it. I'm yes. not lying to them because yeah. some people say I'm faking it. Yeah. Is there anything I'm doing fake? Well, I never see. Well, you never check prices at all. No. No, I don't. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't think you speak to anybody too. Like the no. information you get it comes from a different source. I see. The best part is did yeah. that my phone ever ring once? No. The only person called us. Who was it? Hayden. 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 Because we need to connect with him to make sure that we can Hayden call him. Yep. My entire 24 hours, the only person called my phone is Hayden. Mm. I, I, do I read newspapers? No. Do I mm. uh, watch TV? No. Do I watch any YouTube channel that tells me how the chart will go? No. no. <laughs> I don't think you'd even chart or like no. in this way, in a traditional way. <laughs> Why would I Maybe if you want to explain. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the thing is this. Uh, when you have a source direct information source why mm. would you go indirect mm. yeah if you can talk to the universe directly and the universe answers back to you all you have to do is ask mm. and the only way for you to ask is go into a state of dream focus on the question you have you'll receive your answer and by the way what you're doing is not new no you know, I know it's so not new of course may, not. some people may think it's no. different because they no. haven't heard about it but no. a lot of masters a lot of no. people around the world who are very connected have this source a very special source of information which they can connect to which takes practice which takes yes, time that is true and which also takes a gift some people yes. have been chosen for a gift yes and uh, yes. one of them is this one thank you and uh, and also not yet there's a lot of practice yes. still to come but you yes. need a lot of time to practice the cool thing is 
um, the reason we are at this particular location, initially because this is the only place they have a fast charger. Just around the corner, that's the fast charger. Mm. This is initially the reason. And then, this is something we need to explain what's going to happen for now because the script is changing now. Mm. We follow the script of the universe. We don't create our script. That's the key, right? We, most people make a plan, they don't derive from the plan. Instead, mm. what you do is you follow your instinct, you, you follow your plan, but when the universe gives you a signal, you have to follow the signal. It's your choice. It's like a sign on the road that says detour. It's your choice to decide if you follow the detour sign or not. Mm. Some people are stubborn. Mm. They don't. Mm. Then they end up in the ditch. So Some people don't realize how much they can control within exactly. their life and how much exactly. guidance they have exactly. because they don't listen. So now no. we, we listened and last night I had so many different dreams. One of the dreams tells, tells me straightforward is if we continue the journey, mm. The car we're driving will crash and burn and <laughs> fall into pieces. <laughs> yes. On the top of a skyscraper. Yes. I don't know what that means. Which can be imagery too. The, can the, the universe pure, pure can be yeah, no just word. telling you. Yeah, it doesn't no physically have to mean the Correct. car is going to burn, no, right? It doesn't mean it that. It can just mean the yeah. trip is not going to go in the in the in the right direction. Yes. That can yeah. I mean that too? Is that what it's it's entirely possible? Yes. And, um, just because you can access the the library, let's call it the library of the universe, it doesn't yeah. mean that you can read everything and understand right. everything right it's away. A, it's a different language. Yes, speak like of. a real library. You walk into yeah. a library, it doesn't mean you just walk through a library, it means you automatically absorb all the information in that library. Yes, you don't. That's so you right. take your time, study, understand, Excellent. and other things. Same thing here. When I go into dream, uh, dream stage, mm. and so can you, a lot of people can. Yeah, everybody can. Does. Yes. Yes. You go into dream stage, you are entering the library of the universe. Yes. But it's then up to you to decide which book do you take out, which one do you want to read, which yeah. one do you want to retain. Some people go to the library, just take a stroll and walk away yeah. and get entertained. Yes. So I take those information seriously. But the most important information for everybody who watch our channel is actually about the markets. Mm. So let me uh, circle back to the market. It's this. For us, continue going to Bundaberg, uh, Funga Bundaberg, continue going to Townsville is not going to be any good. Yeah. It's not going to do anything for the market, to be honest. What really will do something for the market is then we showcase the lifestyle that um, Bitcoin Cash allowed us to have. Yeah. Because everything you see here, you, you guys now know what I own, what I don't own. More important to say what I don't own. <laughs> As a minimalist, why I don't know. I, yes. I do not own currently almost everything. Yeah, everything and <laughs> just in the boat. Yeah, yeah. just, just, just uh, the, the outside in the boat of the car. That's it. <laughs> and I, I still have a very happy life. Yeah. And you guys have witnessed me the last uh, 500 videos, basically, yeah. that my life is not that different. Yeah. If I told everybody that's all I own, would people go crazy? Maybe. But now they have seen the result. You know, you can't, you don't necessarily have a bad lifestyle or mm -hmm. anything. However, what gives me is the freedom. Mm -hmm. so it gives you the freedom. And this can give everybody the same freedom. Mm. When you're on the Bitcoin Cash Network, because I see myself being completely engraved into the Bitcoin Cash Network. If I need anything, I just tap the Bitcoin Cash Network and get everything out of that. So inside the Bitcoin Cash Network, not only I store money, mm. but there's another thing I store inside, which I am retrieving, are friends, mm. connections, mm -hmm. human connections. Yes. It's actually also connected yeah. by the Bitcoin Cash Network. Mm. And this is the part that a lot of people don't talk about. Mm. The reason why we are talking to each other is because because of the common denominator of Bitcoin Cash. Yes. You wouldn't yeah. have come on this trip if I told you I came here for some supplements, <laughs> right? Would <laughs> you have come? Definitely not. No. Place. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. If I say I come here for sightseeing, you yeah. wouldn't have come either. Yes. The reason you came here with me is for the guidance and for the Bitcoin Cash related things. Yes. Same thing with you. There's thousands of people watching me every single day mm. and we are connecting mm. through the universe and through the internet via the Bitcoin Cash Network mm. with the common denominator. Mm. And so let's for example, if I, I can just imagine this and I'm going to name names now. Okay. Mm. Imagine I go to U US uh, and I, I just knock on the door of Ryan Griffin. Mm. This is one of the guys who is uh, on Bitcoin Cash very active. I just knock on his door without any announcement. I bet if I knock on his door right now, teleport myself, I can't teleportation, but imagine I can fly over to the US, somehow know where he is, knock on his door, I say, I need to stay with you for a year. Mm. I bet he is going to let me go mm. inside his house, stay with him for a year. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that. Yes. Even though he's never met me before. Why? Mm. Because we connect through the Bitcoin Cash Network. Mm. Same thing for Roger Ver. If Roger Ver come to Australia and he wants the place to stay, I will open up my tent and say, Roger, you can stay in my tent. <laughs> you can fit two Rogers in there. <laughs> oh, three. That's a three size, three human tent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you what else happens in those tents, but yeah. let's just put it away first. Um, okay. The alarm telling us to shut up and better continue. So Roger, if you come to Australia and 
you're welcome in my tent yes. and everything else that's associated with the tent <laughs> yeah, you know how powerful the tent can be yeah. <laughs> the tent is my temple <laughs> it is yeah. I saw you do some good work in the temple <laughs> yeah exactly now um, so from here onwards our journey turns, takes a slight turn mm. we're gonna go to uh, next stop is gonna be Noosa mm. beautiful Noosa Beach uh, Sunshine Coast mm. and uh, then Brisbane mm. then back to Gold Coast mm. and in the process we're gonna call out to the universe Anybody who is in this area, Noosa, Sunshine Coast, um, Baringa, uh, Brisbane, North Brisbane, North Lakes, all those places, you guys want meat, text me, WhatsApp me, and uh, Insta Instagram me, and uh, Telegram me. My phone number, you guys should know by now, is 0432-111-110. Beautiful number. Yeah, 0432-111-110. In the next two days, yeah. we're going to be in this area, in yeah. the next two days. Mm. So starting in Sunshine Coast region, then go down to Brisbane. Mm. Anybody who wants to meet with us, be on video or just have a nice chat, or have a coffee and any of that stuff, just message me 0432-111-110 and we'll get together, right? Amazing. This is also how to demonstrate the Bitcoin Cash Network because yes. it's not just about money. It's yes. really not just about money. It's about freedom. Freedom, freedom connection, is, yes. human human connection this mm. is what it's all about mm. all right thank you very much for this video and Thanks as up. always unscripted <laughs> see you next time okay see you bye okay.